<laughs> Hello! Hi! <laughs> Good morning! It has been so long since Steph has been in one of my vlogs. I'm thinking Cape Town, January 2020. Oh my god, it would have been. So it's been a while since you guys saw Steph on my channel. Welcome back. It's We've good missed to be back. you. We've it's missed you here. Back. So we are in the New Forest, which is a national park in the south of England, and it is absolutely blooming stunning, isn't it? Oh my god, it's gorgeous. And I didn't realise this, but the New Forest is famous for having lots of animals, just like roaming around not in fields like horses and pigs and cows and I didn't know this and I just rocked up yesterday and was like why are there why are there horses in the road why are there pigs walking down the street no, wait you need to insert that clip that you got oh, of the pig okay guys right here is some some footage of a clip a, a footage of a clip some footage of a pig that we met yesterday she's called Penelope and we became best friends yeah it's it was a love like, story it was it's like the highlight of my month anyway so we are now, it's Sunday morning, and we are going to get ready to go to get some coffee. I need caffeine, oh my god. And then explore, walk, get outdoors, have a roast, wholesome Sunday. Yeah. Can't blooming wait. The food scene here is great as well, right? I think, I, I think so. Well, we had a great meal yesterday. Yeah. Didn't we? <laughs> we, did, we did have a great meal yesterday, so we had two great meals yeah. yesterday. The food scene here is great. Listen to the church bells. Somebody's getting married. Surprise! And it's us! Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> Don't tell Lewis that. Anyway, we have made it to Lindhurst, which is a beautiful town from what I can see already, and we're gonna go and get a morning coffee. <laughs> This is such a cute little coffee shop. Please excuse the fact the church is actually going off. Apparently it goes wild for about half an hour. Get that beat, get that church beat. Yes, 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 yes. Cheers. Happy Sunday, babe. Happy, oh, happy Sunday. She creamy. God. Mm. Mine is like drowning in syrup. It's so good. I love that for you. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. Very good coffee, guys. You need to pop in here. If you come to Lindhurst, Lindhurst, what's it called? Forest Edge Company. Forest Edge Roasting, Roasting Company. Forest Edge Roasting Coffee Company. And you get like this DJ outside, this church DJ. <laughs> there are so many. Stunning little thatched cottages here, guys. Look at how adorable this is, and they're so pristine. I love it. We are heading off on a little walk. Of course, it's a trail from all trails. It is called Lindhurst Hill and Swan Green Circular. I don't know if you can see that, but hello. There you go. This is the what we're doing today. It's 10.4 kilometers, 226 meters of elevation gain. It's I'm quite excited. flat. Yeah, it's pretty flat to be honest, um, yeah. which is quite nice around here. There's not really any big hills. So, nice bit of a stroll, bit of a walk. We've get out in nature. Life. Gonna try and look out for some stallions. A stallion. Bring it on. Guys, this mud. This is proper British mud. It always gets so gooey come October. There's even bridges <laughs> to get across the mud. Hello, piggy. Look at her, she is majestic. She is almost the size of the ponies. She's such a big gal. So these pigs are released in autumn to eat the acorns because the horses, they're toxic to the horses. So they eat the acorns to protect all the horses that are out and about. And they are so adorable. Oh my goodness, there's so many piggies. I'm so happy. There's cows in the back, there's pigs here, and there's horses. We've got it all in one. <gasps> Hi there. Hello. Hi. Look at you. Hi there. Are we friends? Oh my God. All I wanted was to see a pig and we've seen like 12. I'm so happy. That has actually made my month. I am obsessed with animals and particularly pigs. I just yeah. think what an underrated creature. They're so intelligent and just cute. I love watching them run. Oh my God, I love it when they run and they trot, they trot. Anyway, so that's just made my day. We've met pigs, we've met horses, we've met cows. There's a sunbed which says, look up. Oh, that's cool. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna come join you.
there's no bridge over the stream, but there is this log. Oh my God, look at you just walking with confidence. So jealous. Okay, I'm scared. Oh my God, there's so many. Oh my god, the mum's coming. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Oh my god, that's definitely the mum. Oh my god, look how many babies she's got with her. I am literally hitting my gas light. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there, so we have finished our walk which was absolutely really beautiful, it was about 10 and a half kilometres of delight and we are now, what are we in, what's this place called? It's right here on the menu, the Lindhurst Tea House, thank you Steph. <laughs> so we are ordering some corn chilli and rice and some tea and potentially a coffee and just enjoying some post-war food before we continue our exploration. A little bit of corn chilli action. Steph has got the same and I also got an English breakfast tea with some oat milk. What a dream. Look at Steph's salt tuckers. Do I use my hands? She doesn't want to use her hands in the pot. She's been very COVID friendly and COVID safe. I appreciate that. Beetroot cacao latte. A lot of beetroot in there. Oh god. It's tasty. It's got a real strong element of beetroot to it. You're really not saying it to me. <laughs> I like it though, I feel like it's health. Yeah. Health. So it's not got coffee in it? No. It's yeah. beetroot instead of coffee. It's beetroot and cacao. Mm. Very bizarre. I like it. I think it's got cinnamon in it as well. Hello. Hello. So we have come up to Bolton's Bench above Lindhurst, which is like a little a little bench quite literally around a tree with beautiful views of the surrounding hills and horses and landscapes. Oh, there we go. Look at how pretty that is. Steph recommended that I pick up this fudge. Rolly's fudge. Is it really good? Unbelievable. I think they started in Devon. Oh really? And then they're here. And it's a lactose free vegan salted maple and pecan fudge. So I'm going to give that a go tonight. Maybe we'll Unreal. watch some Bake Off. I can't believe we've gone this long without watching any. I know, we need to watch we Bake Off to tonight. Up. So we've got a spare hour before our Sunday race. We did just eat lunch, so yeah, we need we're to like, hoping work up an appetite. To work we? up an appetite real quick. We're just going to go for a little stroll around the surrounding hills and then go and have our Sunday roast. Run! Oh no! It really is! Immediately! <laughs> it started raining. So we're just gonna have a little a bit of shelter time, aren't we? Yeah, getting that shelter. That rain is not the one. Not the one. We're not here for the rain. No wind. No rain. Or winters. What how's it go? I have no idea what you're singing. <laughs> how's that sound there? I have no idea. So the British weather has well and truly fucked <laughs> <laughs> us around, hasn't it? It has it just really come does. out to play. So it is raining hard now, which we're not too mad about because our roast dinner is in 20 minutes. And I feel like we did work up an appetite. We had a little bit of time to go for a walk, meet all the lovely ponies, meet some cows, very friendly cows. And now we're feeling ready to tuck into a roast. And guys, if you're not from the UK, if you come to the UK, you must get a roast dinner on a Sunday. It's just like it's just the dumb thing. It's just thing, like isn't it? let me get let me get Steph in here. It is Hi. the dumb thing. Hello. It's like just the most traditional British thing meal. You just to need have. some gravy. In, oh god. You just need some gravy in your life sometimes, don't you? You do need some gravy and some roast potatoes and mm. some Yorkshire puddings and like all that good stuff. You need it in your life. You really do. And um, also, you know, like when people talk about their death row meals, would yours be a roast? Mine is a Christmas dinner, which is basically a roast dinner, isn't it? It's just a giant roast dinner. It's like a giant roast dinner with extra sprouts. That would be your death row meal. 
100%. I never would have put you down as a Christmas dinner death row meal. 100%. What would be your starter? Oh, it would be like, okay, oh, this is a big conversation. <laughs> sorry, sorry, we will finish this after this is switched off, but I'm very interested. This is not over. <laughs> this is, we're going to no, delve deep. deep. We're going to delve deep into our death row meal. <laughs> but just so you know, a roast dinner is my main course of my death row meal. So if you come to England... You need you, to have one. You have to have one. And also, this is my catchphrase of this weekend. It's 2021 and... Places have vegan options. They do. And worst case scenario, you get all the roasted veg with some vegan gravy. They can whip you that up and it's still like an experience in Amazing. itself. It is. I could drink gravy. Mm -hmm. I would I would drink gravy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm happy for you. <laughs> all right, beat you latte. <laughs> This day just keeps getting better and better. We have met a donkey and it is the most adorable thing ever. Hi cutie. <gasps> Look at you. Oh yeah, get that leg out. Roast dinner time. Check out this roast, guys. Oh my goodness. We have got a veggie wellington. We've got some Yorkshire puds. We've got some potatoes. We've got some greens and goodness. This is literally my dream meal. And I'm so excited. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. The pastry looks great. Yum. <laughs> So this is our Airbnb for the night. It's called The Stables. As you can see, it's a converted stable block and it is so quaint and just gorgeous in here. So let me take you in. We're right in the village of Burley, by the way, which is a gorgeous like witchcraft village. It's known for its witchcraft. So this is what it's like on the inside. It is so cozy, isn't it? So cute. Literally. Isn't that sofa a cloud? Oh my God, wait, watch the plot. So yeah, this is our cosy little room. As you guys can imagine, I appreciate the panelling in here. <laughs> and then we have a little side table. And then here we have a little like kitchenette, which has like a microwave, hob, fridge, all that sort of stuff. We have our oat milk and coffee. And then upstairs, oh, there's a bathroom here. Very cute. And then upstairs, I'll just show you guys our room. It might be a little bit messy, please excuse that. But it is so cute. Look at that. This is our little bedroom. So cute and cozy. And again, the bed is like a cloud. So I will leave a link down below to this Airbnb. If you guys come to the New Forest, it's a really good place to stay because it's right in the heart of a village called Burley. And it's walking distance to like all the little shops, the cafes. It's just like an absolutely perfect location. So definitely recommend it. I will leave a link down below in the description box if you're looking for somewhere to stay during a little weekend away to the New Forest. I'm not in this, am I? No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Steph is definitely naked over there. <laughs> no, you're definitely not in this shot, Steph, so don't worry. Sheer panic. I can't. <laughs> you are. You're like, I'm not in this, am I? <laughs> so we are gonna. Oh my god, you've got Jacqueline's book! Oh yeah. I haven't, that's like next on my list. Oh my god, it's amazing. Is Look it? how many pages I've got turned down. She's amazing. Is it really good? She sent me it, but I haven't like read it yet. So I'm funny. in this book club, so I haven't told you guys this yet, but I've joined a book club. <laughs> joined a book club. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our book for this month. So the Tuesday after I'm filming this, I'm off to my first meetup in real life. You actually meet the people? Yeah, so I'm going on Tuesday and I get to like, that's why I need to be back in time. Oh so I'm going to book club. God, that's so exciting. Yeah, so I'm going into London to my first book club to talk about this. And it's a non-fiction book club. It's called Rebel, Rebel Book Club. My friend Naomi got me a membership for my birthday. How cute is that? That is really cute. As, really a, as, me. A, um, as a gift. So I need to finish this book before book club on Tuesday. So, <laughs> so we thought we'd just sit Enjoy and our read books. and just like be wholesome AF and read our books. And then after that, watch Bake Off. Cute, wholesome, we love to see Sounds it. Sounds like a dreamy evening to me. Mm. And do you recommend this book then? Highly recommend this book. This is How, How to, to Do, do you, you by Jacqueline Hurst. She's a friend of ours. Do you know, have you met her? I haven't. She used to do talks for girl games. She 
Oh, is she the one that did the retreat where she took ayahuasca? Different person. Different, different person. person. Jacqueline Hurst did not do ayahuasca. No, no, she did not. Anyway, great book. It's actually, she's an amazing woman. She's um, amazing. Probably so I'll leave both these books down below. Mine is about relationship and attachment theory, and yours is about smashing lines. Yeah, being the best you, and not, not giving a shit, sorry. Do you swear? Yeah. Not giving a shit what other people think, and that how their opinion of you is none of your business. Preach. Mm. Preach. I'm only halfway through though, so the plot might change. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will. At, at natural stuff, okay? Okay, that's great. Great. <laughs> Everyone knows this isn't natural. <laughs> What's your opinion? <laughs> no. I'm here for the brains. It's the intelligence. You don't find him attractive? No. <laughs> He's so clever. And it's not a reason to sleep with someone. Albert Einstein's clever, but you don't see me sleeping with him. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a pituitary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Good evening. It is now. 7.30, what the hell have we done all evening? <laughs> I had a nap. <laughs> Steph had a nap and I, we spoke a lot. We just like- We had some really good discussions. We had really good discussions and chats for a long time. And I think now we're gonna have some snacks. Mm -hmm. What have we got, hummus? We've got hummus, olives, like sun blush tomatoes. tomatoes and fudge. We've got vegan fudge that I've already had some of, lol. When? When you were napping. <laughs> That's so rude, let me smell. Let me smell it. Oh my God, that smells rich. That doesn't smell vegan. That smells like dairy. I can't wait. So we are going to have some snacks. We've got a chocolate this. bar from yesterday as well. The oh, oat milk yeah. one. Peppermint tea as well. You not? Are you not feeling that? I don't think it goes with the hummus, but yeah, maybe after. Maybe after the hummus. Yeah. And then bake off. Bake off. Bake off. How many weeks has it been going for? Like eight. I did watch the first week. So can we skip to week two? <laughs> no. I don't know any of the characters. You're really hard. Okay. You're gonna have to rewatch that because <laughs> you were living your main character life and forgot about our sidekicks. Yeah, but I watched it like six weeks ago oh, okay, when it fine. started. So pre us planning that we were gonna watch Baby. Living Christ. my main character <laughs> life. <laughs> Remember them little people. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it like six weeks ago and then Before I, we planned this And then I realised that I couldn't commit to it So I stopped Fine, I'll watch sec the second episode Yeah, I think the first one wasn't mind blowing Was it not? Was it bread week? It was not bread week fine. Okay fine, we'll watch week, week two. two Week two <laughs> I found a tray Oh my goodness, yay! Yay! Snacks! <laughs> first you get the hummus Then you get the tomato Then you eat it <laughs> We're gonna end the vlog. <laughs> you okay? Goodbye. <laughs> so, if you guys like this video, please hit thumbs up. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. Please give us some love. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye.